Well, hello. Welcome to Drawing with Fire. I am Valerie, your neighborhood pyrography artist, here to help guide you on your burning adventures. And I'm joined today with Hubby. Hubcap. <laughs> and I hope everyone had an awesome holiday and can hear us. I think I fixed the buffering issue, so we shouldn't have that problem. Hi, Ian. Hi, Eve. Hi, Grace. So I'm picking back up with this um, horned owl that we started back in July. I haven't touched it since. I have it taped down to the back. The um, I think it's called I think it's chipboard that they use in picture frames. And so I've got that taped down just so mm -hmm. it won't curl as bad. I forgot all about this piece. Did you? Audio and video are good, according to Eve. Yay! And this is the owl. Hopefully it'll show up. There we go. And so we'll get started. I do think I'm going to start with the Optima. It's been a while since I worked on this, so I kind of have to remember what I was doing. And I did finish grandbaby's christmas ornament the rocking horse if you guys want to see it is it on the tree i pulled it from the tree oh. so i could bring it in i have my black and white reference photo that i'll be using and i think i'm gonna tape it somewhere close by hey bubba bubba's here All right, and I also have a scrap piece of watercolor attached to the board so that I can test the tips. And I think we're going to start with the ball tip for the Ultima. Optima. I keep having such an issue with that. It's not a car. All right, let's get started been a while since I felt like I did an actual burning so this is the medium ball tip scratch pe scratch pe piece of watercolor paper hi Calegro I hope I pronounced that right <laughs> I don't speak Italian all right let's see here looks like my tip was a little dirty I did use it on the canvas last week so I just kind of wipe it off so it doesn't mess up the owl. Yep, looks like we're all clean now. All right, maybe I should zoom in a little bit. I think we're going to start back up on the beak area. Hey, Esme. Sorry, double dogs wanted. Oh, <laughs> all right. So I'm going to scoot this over a little bit here so I can reach it better. I am testing my tip on this scrap piece of paper. Bump is here. I'm going to go ahead and bump it up to three. I know I can go darker with this one. So. Did you already say hello to uh, Caligaro Solomon? I did. Okay, and Adele, and I heard you say. Hi, hey, Adele. No, I didn't see oh, Adele. That's me. In Esme, yes. Yep. All right. I see your brother's here. Yep, Bubba's here. Hey. So, I think we're going to go ahead and pick back up. We're going to go with the beak. I think I still want to zoom in a little bit more. Hopefully, the focus is still good. So it's hard to see on the small screen. There we go. Right. See, to me, it looks like it's a little off on the focus. There we go. Alright, the pen's heated up. And this is Cold Press uh, watercolor paper, 140 pound. And this one is the Fluid 100. So let's just get a little bit of the feathers that happen around the beak. 
And this photo I took at Arizona, and this is Georg, the horned owl. Last time I called him a barn owl. Luckily he doesn't watch the videos because I probably would have got yelled at. So I'm just going to block in some of these features. We have a line that goes right about here. For this one I chose the, the cold press paper because the owl's feathers and whatnot have a lot of texture. So I'm going to use that to my advantage. Put that in there. And I do have a colored photograph next to me as well. And I go back and forth between the two. Last time, if I remember right, I tried looking at the reference photo on the TV. And it just didn't give me the detail I wanted. So back to photos. Get that in there. And let's see here. A lot of this is, it looks white, but it's more of a gray. In fact, I'll switch it over to the black and white so you can see better what I'm looking at. So, how is everybody's holiday? Mine was good. <laughs> well, I hope yours was good. We'd have to talk if it wasn't. Um, I think what's interesting about this one is that the it's going to translate really well to wood burning because he's basically shades of brown and he's, he's monochromatic. And that's what I was kind of looking at too. So except for his eyes, which are yellow and orange. Yeah, and I I did this one on watercolor paper because I am going to add color to it. I'm going to add color to his eyes and yes to the background. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to do anything with him other than the eyes. That's kind of what I was thinking anyway. We'll see if that's how it goes. And I'll be bumping around like I always do. I never really stay in one spot. I see one area that needs to be touched up and that's where I go. I never fully finish an area. I think it also makes it easier for me to stay focused. Mm. It kind of gets hard burning the same thing over and over again. But I need to make sure I stay on camera too. Let's see here. This is dark. And I could bump up my heat, but right now I'm just going to kind of keep it at three. Grace says that there was a, when she was a kid, there was a great horned owl that lived in the woods just behind the house. And so beautiful and hearing it was wonderful. That is so cool. Unfortunately, we don't have any, do we? Um, I don't know. Well. I haven't heard any. Well, we, maybe we haven't heard any, but. George is from around here, right? I don't remember if he was around. He was found after a forest, wasn't a forest fire. Or was he just found in the woods? He was found after a forest fire and rescued. He's the one that goes swooping over everybody's head. Mm, if I remember, he was like five. So yeah, he goes swooping over your head, but he's the one that thinks he's a human. Yes, he thinks he's a human. He has imprinted onto his friends at Arizona. So I'm not going to sit here and try to put every stroke in. Right now I just want areas blocked in. And then I can always go back and add more detail. He says, owls are awesome. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Let's see here. And this is the medium ball tip for the Alt uh, Optima. I keep trying to call it an Altima, like it's a car. <sighs> and 
And this would be similar to burning on canvas, as in they're both fabric in a way. Yeah. So. Oh, here goes the seal. Right, deck. He always waits until the live starts. Can't do her business before the live. She did. Oh, she did do her business? She had more business. Ah, more business. Busy dog. So let's just I'm trying not to burn over the lines as much as possible. That way I'm not burning in the graphite. There we go. Oh wow. Thank you so much, Eve. You didn't oh, you didn't have to do that. Oh, thank you, Eve. I got my first super chat. Wow. <laughs> I did not expect that from you, Eve. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate all of it. The super chat, if you're watching this live, is a way to donate to YouTube creators and help out the channel and I appreciate it so much and I just realized I went off screen all right let's lower it down a little bit there we go there's no super butt chat button on tablets that's odd grace because that's how I normally do it for other creators is on my tablet that's really weird I did not know that. Let's see here. Now I've really bumped, uh, <laughs> bounced around, haven't I? So I'm just blocking in where I know some of the darker areas are, and I can come back and darken them. This is the main way I try to get rid of graphite, so I can go back and do my details. I don't know what that is. It's a pretty big bump out. Hmm. I'll come back. I do still have my photo reference, my outlines attached to the back of this. So if I need to put it back on the light pad, I can. I think this is going to be all right. I can actually go darker. So we're going to bump up to three and a half. Get that in there, this line. Kind of separates the ear feathers. Guess what Eve went and did? I saw that. I was going to mention it. But then Moon Seal barked. Seal go. barked. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, she's still down, but she has not go. I think she wants a treat. Yeah, I know. I want a treat. Okay. Yeah, I saw that, and that's very much appreciated. It's um, so awesome. You use Super Chat, and that's just a, a way to, I guess, think of it as a tip. Like, yeah, basically. You know, tipping, tipping your server. <laughs> oh, is that what I am now, server? Well, you kind of are. I mean, you spend a lot of time like answering questions, and uh, not, not here, just like in general, like. You're often answering questions for folks that are getting started in burning, and you know, you're, you're there. So. I'm trying. I remember how, what it feels like to be new and have no idea what's going on. Yeah. So it's much appreciated. Thank you very much, Eve. It's so awesome. Hmm. Okay, and let me just catch up. And yeah, do some erasing while you do that. Um, color, okay, we color all the way. said hi to him. Ah, your brother. Well, actually, it's Josh. 
Hey, Joshua. He says, I got an idea that I want to take a picture of my, on my new camera of a chicken Ooh. and burn that. I think that would look cool. That would look very cool, Josh. I didn't realize you got a new camera for Christmas. That's so awesome. That is cool. That was a good choice to ask for. <laughs> Then you can take your own reference photos and don't have to worry about anything. You change them the way you want to. <sighs> She's going to seal it all day, isn't she? Alright, so I erased the, just the outline feathers because they weren't a straight line. I wanted to make sure and get the definition of the line right. Let's see here. Oh, I was going to show the rocking horse. I forgot. Oh, I can throw that up there real quick. Get rid of these lines before I forget. Hopefully this isn't bouncing the camera too much. Alright. So, two things. I finished the rocking horse for for Jessica for her Chris, for her ornament and so this is how I finished it off let me back out a little bit Arden Ezezada says Valerie thank you hello you're welcome and per Grace's request it's painted silver on the back and I added the crystals I don't know how well the glitter I blinged up the rocking horse. Oh yeah, you can see it good. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So that, and then I just made a bead loop trying to match some of the colors in the rocking horse. And then I also washed the canvas from the deer, uh, reindeer last week to see how well the uh, pencil line would come out. I used hand, foaming hand soap. And in general, it came out pretty good. There's a few areas that it looks like there's still some in there. But I was trying to hurry and just see what happened. The canvas does get misshapen once it's wet. I don't know how well you, it was. <laughs> it was cut straight, but now it looks all misshapen. So I'm going to have to figure out how to deal with that. And now we can go back to this. Grace says the jewels look cool. And Eve says that turned out really pretty. And Thank Marie you. Monopoly says that came out great. Hi, Marie. Well, thank you. I was happy with it overall. I put three coats, or sorry, no, three coats of UV archival spray on it because I did use the ink tints. And then I followed up with the um, polyurethane spray uh, spray sealant in satin because that's the only thing I had. I, I wanted a gloss so that it would kind of sparkle more on the Christmas tree, but I didn't have it. Let's see here. This is dark. How far over is this dark? I have this line here. I'm trying to get my bearings on my lines so that I know where I'm going. I think I'm going to over that. Let's erase that a little bit, maybe, hopefully. I'm going to get a little closer. Ooh, I'll do this and then I won't be off screen. Yay! All right. So I'll go, this area is darker. And then it comes down. Lisa Fiermeister says, hello, toasted. Yeah, I made it. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. I'm glad you made it. All right, get those lines in there so I can erase. Sometimes I'm not erasing, and that's because I don't feel like I have all of it 
blocked in there the way I want to yet. So I don't want to quite get rid of those lines. Chris says it's starting to buffer a bit. Again, I fixed... I see it. That's... <sighs> I changed. Let me change, check to see if I'm allowed to stop a setting. Nope, it won't let me. Well, Jeff uh, Bogan says hello. I didn't think about erasing the graphite. I've been burning it into the paper. Hi, it's Jeff. It's cleaner that way, and no graphite smudges either. I'll have to do that on my next paper burn. Yes. It, I. The graphite, as you know, shows through. So if you can just burn right next to the line, as close as possible, so that you don't throw off your perspective or whatnot in that area. But go, just do enough to block it in, and then take out the pencil. I think you'll be much happier with your burning. And if you ever want to <clears throat> this is just in general if anybody ever wants to compete with their burnings the judges do look for graphite yeah I think that's like like, like when we compete at the county fair like I they're not necessarily looking at support there, but when you get into like a really professional competition, like at the yes. Arizona wood carving show, mm -hmm. yeah, and then, then it's serious. Then it's for reals. Then it's for reals, and they do look. Let's see here. I didn't put my lines for here, so I am trying to get as close as I can to it. And this is more of an angle. <coughs> So. Sandra Farina. Hi, hello. Sandra. That's awesome. Well, thank you. Yeah. Hope I pronounced that name correctly. If we ever mess up a name, it's never on purpose. It's just all Hubcap's fault. Even if I say it, it's your fault? Yes. <laughs> How's that? I am your loyal henchman. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not my attention. Yes. No. During the holidays, who puts up all the decorations? You did this year. Most of them. I helped. But normally I do. There must be many decorations. <laughs> I like them. Right, Valerie's so. like Clark off of Christmas vacation. I don't know what you're talking Except about. Except in, in her, like wanting to put up so many decorations and lights and things. Although, in execution, I'm more like Clark. <laughs> yes, you are. He's been trying to get me on the roof for years. He won't do it. No, I know my limitations. I know how that turns out. With me on my back on the ground. Mm, it wouldn't. <laughs> so I'm just trying to very lightly remind myself where these lines are without burning them in too deep. And Grace says uh, despite the buffering it's still working well. Just wanted to bring it to your attention. Thank and you, Jackson. Jackson says I got one step closer to my live tutorial goal today with some new hardware. I'll be testing later. Awesome. That is awesome. I hope it works for you. It can be quite frustrating. And, and in regards to the graphite and the judging, Jeff uh, Bogan asks, do they look for it on wood too or just yes, paper? Yes, they look on it on all your surfaces, uh, gourds, anything that you submit for your substrate, <clears throat> they look for it. Yeah. Plus, if it's like, um, it's like really neat, this is like really nitpicky, it's technicality, but when you enter something in pyrography, and then they find graphite on it, then technically it's multimedia. But that's not what they're looking for, though. No. But yes, you're right. And you can still um, submit multimedia. Yeah. It just goes into a different category. 
They regards to me being on the roof. Grace says, smart move. The roof is a whole nother level. But no, I like that. That works on several <laughs> levels. That it does. <laughs> but I want lights on the house. That's why we have the star shooters. But those aren't the lights that I want. And I like my back the way it is. <laughs> Uh, all right. Unless you want to invest in a bunch of those rescue mats that they they put at the bottom of skyscrapers <laughs> when people are, you know, having a bad day, then you know. Those would be fun. Bouncy house for adults. Oh, I guarantee I'd use them. <laughs> not intentionally, of course. No, not intentionally. All right, I'm trying to. It's buffering. Then I don't know why. I thought that's not something I can test for. Yeah. And I hope it's not bad because we haven't even been going that long. Mm -mm. I thought I. It's good now. Knew what the problem was. I thought because I also record the live stream to the computer that way I have the file. And I thought. Because that was the only thing that I changed was the file type. I thought that's what was causing the buffering. But I guess not. We should have had Jesse look at this when he was up here. Yeah. I told him we were having buffering issues. And he has, he has to, if we're using the video card. I am, and that's starting to become an issue. Mm. I haven't <laughs> talked to him about it, but. Maybe you should talk to him. After the live. Maybe. Well, he's at work. Alright, so I'm just trying to get in the little feathers very lightly. I can always go darker. It's much harder to go lighter. So I'm just going to tap them in. Make sure I have the right direction of the feathers going. Here, gonna go down a little bit. Owls have a lot of little feathers around the face, so I don't want to overdo it on all my lines. But I do need to have it's almost like doing hair, you're not going to put in every single line that you see, but I need a good amount of them, and they group together. So, let's see here, are we close enough? So this, these, L, these, I don't know what this, um, I know each one of the feathers have their own name. I don't know what <coughs> they're, are these guard feathers around the beak? No. I don't either. But those curve in. And I'm using the ball tip so that it's kind of like using a ballpoint pen while I'm drawing. Let's see. Luckily, this doesn't have to be perfect because every owl is going to be different. Unless somebody's looking directly at your reference photo, they're not going to know. We'll get that in there. And I can do some erasing. Now, there's going to be areas in here that are going to be darkened. But right now, this tells me what kind of lines are in this area and in what direction. So I can move down. For whatever reason, when I did this first part, I didn't get his beak fully outlined correctly. I don't know why. So I am going to try to fix it. Alrighty. So I know it ends there and it curves up. So I'll darken this. And then kind of goes. I am trying to pay much closer attention to my reference photo. Excuse me. 
So I can do this. Oh, sorry. Didn't and, you. And left arm. That's okay. fine. I'm, I'm kind of leaning back so I can see. Grandpa Podge says, hi, all looking good now. Hey, Podge, thanks. He says that we could call him Podge. <laughs> Your brother says, I'll know. You'll know. Yeah, there you go. He got a beacon plant. <laughs> Is that what we're gonna call it? Oh, excuse me. Okay. Yeah. Itch all of a sudden. We all have to take a shot. <clears throat> um, Marie um, Monopoly is asking what surface you're working on. This is Fluid 100 Cold Press Watercolor Paper. It's 100% cotton. And it's 140 pounds. Mm. Yeah. I'm getting the blobs there. I'll work those in. I'm not going to stress about it. Let's see here. I'm trying to remember what this part, because huh. it's not quite as... Even Grace answered that question in chat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's buffering. We're going to have to call the internet company. It may be on them. Because this is just going to drive me nuts. And I feel bad having people stick around when it's buffering. Alright. So, what do you got Yeah, Ian here? Jackson kind of. He said buffering can be from several points that are not your equipment. Yep. Yeah. All right, so I feel the beak is off a little bit, so I can darken areas to kind of pull it in more. He does kind of look like he had a beak implant. And because of how the feathers are, I can just bounce and tap to make it feel more like the feathers that we're seeing. Are you dancing or are you, are you burning? Uh, both. You a lot of bouncing and tapping. Bouncing and tapping? Boop, 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 boop. Well, let's do both. Why not? Makes it more fun. All right. So. Eve says it's cold out, out there. Mm. Not here. Mm. Oh, I forgot. Where's my snow? I want my snow. This is just a public service announcement. <laughs> Val will be upset at any mention of snow because we're going to have snow. But we're supposed to have snow. We're the temperature that Phoenix is in the wintertime. I know. That's just wrong. Right. I won't get too whiny. Kathy Whitney. Did we already say hi? Hey, Kathy. Her? No. Okay. Let's see here. This feels off. Eve says it's negative 22 Fahrenheit with the wind chill. Mm. That's like where I grew up. Yeah. I think we're above 50 right now. And we shouldn't be, but we Seattle, are. Seattle, Grace says Seattle got snow in Tennessee. <laughs> so weird. And it's still here. No cursing. No cursing, Valerie. Didn't curse. My job is to read chat. Okay? <laughs> so I have to read that because it's my job. It's not my fault. Well, if anybody's getting snow that they don't want, you could send it to us. We will happily take it. Alright. So. Marie Monopoly says it's five degrees in Massachusetts. Let's see, make sure I'm still on. And, um, Philip. Hi, Philip. Oh, hi, Philip. Aiko Baki. He was the one who won the, uh, oh, yeah, coarse yeah. hair. Yeah, she said, hello, Valerie. Just got in from the shop, sending out some wood. As always, I love what I see. Thank you, Philip. Lisa's, uh, 26 degrees there in Philadelphia. We are having... 
Oh, by, by, let's see here, what's today, Wednesday? By this weekend, we are supposed to be 60 degrees. That's like unheard of here. And your brother says it's 20 degrees in the Ozarks with wind chill. Um, let's see here. <coughs> I'm feeling a little bit better about this. I still feel off in this area. But I can always, as I darken, see that's another thing. As I darken, things will start looking better. Mm -hmm. So we're definitely still in the ugly stage. Well, yeah. And like, um, like on the left side of the snow, I think, I mean, well, that was a You slip. so did that. that, was a, that you was did that. Of that was a legitimate slip. <laughs> you oh did my God. that on Guess purpose. On anyway, you on the left that. side of the nose Here. Of, of his beak, there's a Here. white patch, and I think once you do that white patch, it'll it'll also. Are bounce. you talking about the kick area? Yeah. Oh, it'll okay. Out. Yeah. I think it'll it'll bring some more balance to it. <laughs> you so said that on purpose. You did on purpose. I did not. You did too. Intentional. That was not intentional. Well, Grace says it's not that they don't want it, the S word. <laughs> the majority of Seattle people don't know how to drive in the S word. Oh, I remember when we were there, they did not know how to deal with it. Yeah, because we got snowmageddon that one year. Yeah, yeah. 13 inches. Yep. Yeah. Everything shut down because they were not prepared for it. Well, it was just supposed to be a little bit of snow, but then I... I Happy snow dance and got more. Yep. Yeah, that's the problem. I haven't snow danced. I agree. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Alright. And just so you guys know it happens to everybody, I'm actually having to redo a burning. I am just so unhappy with it that I had to sand wood last night. I think it's fine, but whatever. It doesn't feel right, and it's not doing what I want it to do. Okay. And I'm switching. It's supposed to be, it is a collaboration with Sheldine over at uh, Sheldine Fine Art. But I guess it's not where I want it to be. It doesn't feel right. And so I'm actually starting completely over. And instead of burning it on paper, I'm going to be burning it on my birch. And I do think it'll be better that way. I can still add color. In fact, I need, there's a, <coughs> I got some new color. They're actual uh, water-based stains. Um, there's a wood turner here on YouTube named Martin. And he has his own stains and he sent them to me to try and I think they will work wonderfully on wood since that's what he designed them for beautiful colors I still need to play with those I don't know why the seal is doing that she's been kind of a pain the last week there's a lot of energy in the house <coughs> Her boys were here. All right. Let's see here. Where do I want to go? More can be done in this nose, but until I balance the whole area, I don't want to do too much more on that one. So I am going to move over to this eye and get some of the directional hairs down, feathers, so I know where I'm going. And for some reason, there we go. Some of the lines aren't exactly the way I want them. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. I did a, I created my pattern a little bit differently in Photoshop than I normally do, and I don't like it. All right, so we got a white piece over here that goes up 
it goes around it. So we'll do that. And it comes out. It's been a while since I've done an owl. And this is only my second one. So I was going to ask, because I've had somebody ask me to do this, and I wanted to see how, because it would be a lot of work for me to do. Anybody can make classes on Skillshare. And I was asked to do um, a portrait class. How many of you would be interested in that? In a portrait wood burning class on Skillshare. They asked me to do video, a DVD, but I know that's even more work. And I was kind of thinking with Skillshare, then students could talk to me as they're working versus just a DVD. But I wanted to hear what you guys thought. Get that in there. Hi, Trish. I think if you want to burn something, you definitely need to burn it because you never know how it'll turn out and it probably be a lot better than you expected I'm trying to move the camera for you, you go the again yep. <sighs> All right. I was trying to are we still in focus is that focus well enough Looks good to me. Alright, I'm going to have to bring the board down a little bit so that I can get... Oh boy. What? I got way behind the chat. Uh, Ian Jackson has a question. Yes. Is burning on this watercolor paper a good place to start wood burning? Honestly, I would suggest wood first. Is it, you can do it, and if you have it, I definitely think you should give it a try. <laughs> But the two surfaces burn differently. And what you might be expecting on watercolor may not happen. Mm. Trish K says, I want to do my own owl, but I don't feel like I would do her justice. Let's see. I was just telling Trish that I thought she could. Oh. I didn't finish the thought, though. I, I do think you should do it, Trish. Even if you mess it up the first time. What you perceive as a mess up, you will learn a lot from it. And then you do it again and again. And you keep learning until one day you look at it and you go, Wow, I got it the way I want it. You know, I have a, a number of, of subjects that I tend to go back to. And I think if you, you wait... You do until you, you paint something until you think you're going to do it like perfectly or something like that then you'll you'll never do it yeah but it is interesting to go back like just do it and then just go back from time to time and repaint that and you it'll be interesting to see how much you improve from each time to the next and Tr trish has a, a question she mm -hmm. said wants to know what tip you're using this is the medium ball tip <coughs> for the optima mm -hmm. it's a fixed tip pen It has pushed its way into my favorite burner section. Uh, mm. what? Top number one. That's what I was trying to say. Let's see here. Top number one. It doesn't get any higher than that. No, I don't. I find, I find that the Optima is the first burner I tend to grab for now. Let's see here. Do you find it's more comfortable or? Um, <clears throat> overall, yes, it is more comfortable. I mean, I can feel the heat in my hand, but it's not enough where I need a glove or it's not an owie <laughs> yet. 
but I have noticed that the cold um, gets a lot hotter than I realized compared to this one. Yeah. And since it has a cork handle, it's not as cushioned. Yeah. And I find myself gripping that pin tighter and my finger is slipping down to the tip and hitting where the um, where the tip connects to the pin okay. and that is hot I'll get I'll be working and focused and not paying attention to that part and all of a sudden it's like ouch <laughs> gotta move my hand so, um, let's see here. To answer Kathy Whitney's question, yes, you're burning on paper. Mm -hmm. um, Grace says, it is interesting how much pressure there is to perfect it in one and not redo things. I think she means, you could correct me if I'm wrong, but basically, you need a light touch to do it in one shot. I, yeah, I'm, do, I'm doing it very lightly and <coughs> trying to make it where the pin is doing all the work. I just move it around. And I'm sorry if I missed it. Lisa said she asked a question earlier. Go ahead and re-ask that, Lisa, because I was out taking care of a dog, probably, and I must have missed it. So. All right. So let's turn a little bit. I'm trying to get the direction... So I noticed like you're holding the board with one hand. It's because I can't. Yeah. If I put it up here, it'll rock huh. and it'll be off camera. Okay. This way I can move it around as I'm burning and I don't have to move as much. I can just twist it. Jeff Bogan says, photorealistic portraiture is my ultimate goal with pyrography. So he'd like to see some classes on it. Okay. I had mentioned that I was thinking about doing Skillshare. Yeah. And asked what they thought. Because that is a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. And it's going to take me some time to get it where I feel like I'm explaining everything right and the camera angles and everything's clear. Because if you're spending the money to do the class, I want it to be the be very best I can do. Not that I don't do that here, but... Uh, I mean, and, the, and that's something else. We've talked about that before, about like doing Skillshare and stuff. Because there's, there's some uh, YouTubers that I have followed in the past, um, you know, artists. And they went from doing um, like free lessons and they just basically cut it off. And then anything after that, like they after a certain point in time, like they just decided to go, you know, like buy my DVD and they never put anything else on. I uh, know, I don't want to Yeah, that. and Val, Val and I talked about that. And and so that's not going to happen. Like, Val may do some Skillshare stuff, you know, or, you know, we're still not sure, you know, what would be the best avenue. I don't know if anybody in chat would have any ideas about, like, what they would like to see. But, you know, your input is, is of course, you know, valuable. But, um, but even, you know, when she does skill short share or whatever it is that she does, she's not going to be stopping no. the regular videos. If so. I if I do skill share, it'll be on a specific subject from start to finish. It won't be <clears throat> like it would be a portrait, or you know what I mean. It's not like it's not going to take over my YouTube. Mm. And great Grace, in in regards to that. Um, one shot thing she says I don't mean lightly I mean some artists like feel like that they only have one shot at a painting or wood burning oh. don't do another one if they're unhappy with it so th thank you for that clarification no nope, you can do it as many times as you want Beetle in the Box is here she says hey Beetle oh my god that is amazing I can't believe I'm late again <laughs> and hello everybody <laughs> thank you Beetle let's see I'm getting a glare on my reference photo so I'm gonna have to move it okay I could switch tips, but come on, thank you, there we go, now I can see you better, actually I am going to switch, I'm going to switch over to the spear shader, also Optima, 
also Apna. So let's see here. Let me make sure I'm on screen. So um, tip off a little bit from the canvas. So uh, I know that they come with the one, the one um, cushion. You can buy extra. I know you've got some that have. I have one that has the extra. Yeah, but what do you prefer? The one. Oh, you prefer the full cushion. This one. The one oh, you cushion. One cushion. Yeah, the um, one cushion versus the three cushions. Though I have talked to him about getting the getting rid of this third one and just doing the two. Um, Do you think two would be better? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think the third one's overkill. <coughs> I told Pat that, so we'll see what he chooses to do. Okay. And for for gourd work. And you're talking about for from Pat from Optima. Yes. Okay. All right. So now that I can see what I'm doing, a little bit more. I'm using at times. I'm using the side of the spear shader to get more of a barbed look mm -hmm. and then the flat part to kind of smooth it out. Let's see here. This way, I'm trying to see where I can find a place to show it better. Kathy, Kathy says you're always looking really great already, though. Oh, thank you. Let's see here. We're going this way, this way. What is this? You have made a lot of progress on this today. A little bit. I think so. So if I use the side of the shader, I can get a line that kind of goes with it. <clears throat> and I can get different sizes of that line depending on how far up or down I'm working on the tip. Oh my god. What's wrong? Well, Lisa's house was robbed. <gasps> Oh no! And they, it seems like that they may have took the burner. Oh no! I'm so sorry to hear that. I do hope they find them quickly. That is just uh, that is so horrible. And how dare they touch the burner? They don't even know what it is. They were just grabbing stuff. Eve likes the shape of the tip on the burner. Oh, and the spare shape? Yeah. yeah. I can get a lot more shapes in area with this one. The ball tip is great for smaller detail. But I'm trying... And again, I'm not pushing very hard. I saw somebody had broke a tip. From pushing? I don't know. They... Um, wow. It was a cold wood tip. I've never broken a tip. Sounds like something I do. <laughs> yeah, it broke at one of the legs. And I know they're burning. I don't know if they were burning too hot for any length of time and then when they put pressure down it broke mm -hmm. or what that was about knock on wood I've never broken a tip and I don't but I don't burn with my pen always red mm -hmm. I know there are some people who do that but that's just not it's not the best way to work you want to use the lowest heat at any given time for the color for the for the value that you want of the burn. Let's see here. See, I'm set on the exact same setting I was for the ball tip. I didn't change the heat setting, but I'm getting a lighter burn because I'm moving quicker. If I want a darker burn. I just need to slow down, use more of the edge of the tip. I do hope I'm not getting sick because my throat's starting to feel. <clears throat> yeah, I'll be doing a shot of whiskey after this. I already did a shot of whiskey. How much whiskey we got left? We could use another bottle. Okay. 
and that sounds bad. We don't drink a whole lot. <laughs> we use whiskey. And when we start feeling like something's not right to stop the germies, whiskey and honey. Yes. Um, can stop me from getting sick. If, if there's no live show next week, it's because I got sick. I will definitely try. But I'm just going to put that warning out now. If you don't see a live show next week, I got sick. But fingers crossed that doesn't happen. Alright. So there's a lot more detail in this in the head. So I'm going to come back to this area. I'm not going to focus on it right now make sure we're still on screen he says uh, do ginger mint and cinnamon herbal teas with and lots of vitamin c yeah <laughs> and lisa says her, uh, her daughter actually broke two tips burning too hot when she oh. first started yeah. That makes sense, because if you burn too hot, then the metal will get... It gets softer. Yeah, it gets soft, mm -hmm. and, and then if it starts to bend, then that creates a, a line. Mm -hmm. which may, may a in it. Yep. Yeah. So you always want to burn on the lowest setting, and... Well, Grace says you deserve a break anyway, Val. Oh. I agree. Yeah, but if I feel like if I take a break, then... I miss you guys. Aww. Right now it's like we're just hanging out, just talking. I'm getting some work done. Now on this one, when I add color, my thoughts are that I'll do yellow eyes because that's what George has. And then I was going to do like in this area and maybe a little bit in this area so that it's going off kind of in a diagonal. Uh, streaks of purple. That's what I'm kind of thinking. What do you guys think? I don't think I'll put any green in <clears throat> because there were trees and whatnot in the background, but I really want the purple to pop out the yellow in his eyes. That are my thoughts. Let's see here. Let's go this way. Can you read my writing? Can you read this real quick? I thought about that, but I don't know how to do that. You think we should talk about it? Like here? I feel, we feel so bad that Lisa had her wood burning stolen. Wood burner stolen. If anybody be interested in doing a little fundraiser so that we can help Lisa replace her wood burner, please let me know over on Facebook. I know Lisa wasn't expecting that. <laughs> and we just kind of blurted it out, but great minds think alike. So yep. I must be great, and you heard me. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> so yeah i don't know how we would do that because that's not something that we've done before but we could probably set up something i'll figure out something and then that would just be like donations and then hopefully i think it would be an optima right yeah if, if i have my if lisa doesn't mind yeah i mean i'm not going to step on her toes if there's a preferred burner that he's used to and he likes then yes it would be whatever he wants yeah and every yeah. everybody has their own taste and you get used to things so and then grace has such a lovely idea go find me oh yeah maybe yeah you know what? Yeah, I think that would be... I think it would probably be the best, huh? Yep, I do too. Thanks, Grace. Okay, and Lisa um, says, oh, it's so kind, but all right, it's all right. I'll get one. And Lisa, I'm sorry that the cannon's already been fired. <laughs> so you can't get that 
can't you can't take it back. So we're already in motion here, okay? You know, let me talk to Lisa because she may have other plans. Okay. So I don't want to step on her toes. Okay. So pending that. Pen yeah, pending talking to Lisa. Okay. Um, she may already have things in the works getting taken care of. So. But if she can't, then I will jump on. Helping to replace it. All right. All right. Um, catching back up with chat. Ian Jackson says whiskey for tooth pain and brandy for everything else. Um, the end of my box has is a weekend of the worst flu she's ever had. Oh no. Um, Grace says uh, regarding the break. I'd miss you, but don't push it if you're getting sick. No, when I get sick, because of how I get sick, it, it wouldn't be a choice. Yeah. Um, I mean, my choice would be to keep going, but um, when I get sick, it gets hospital bad. Yeah. So. Uh, Trish K says, I don't normally catch your lives on Wednesday, so I'm normally at Beaver's. I don't know what Beaver's is, but she says this is a treat for her. Well, I'm glad you were able to make it. Maybe she can clarify what that is. It might be work? Yeah, either that or else it's autocorrect. <laughs> oh, autocorrect can cause trouble. So, yeah, my older daughter and I played a game where we sent text messages back and forth to each other just by typing words randomly and then choosing the first word that came up in autocorrect. Just to see what would happen. <laughs> I, you know, yeah, there's some really funny, I think the funniest one was that, you know, Osama, Osama Banana was coming, <laughs> um, but. <clears throat> right. Well, I feel like I've gotten a little, I got a little bit done on this guy. Mariah Kane says, just logging in after work. Oh, oh no. looks amazing. Thank you, Mariah. I actually just messed up. And Ian Jackson says he has man flu. And then um, uh, somebody asked what man flu was, and he says it's a strong cold that can knock men out. And, and so Eve says, oh, it says the regular flu for women then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Trish K about beavers, cubs, scouts. Oh, oh, cubs, scouts. Okay. Okay. There we go. Gotcha. That makes sense. I kind of messed up here. I touched down wrong, and so I got lines instead of the shading. But instead of freaking out, let me see if I can move it over so you can see better. Instead of freaking out, I am going to add a few more lines here and there, and it'll kind of make it look like I did it on purpose. Huh. And hopefully give some more texture to the eye it was these two lines right here i i went to to touch down flat the the wood or i'm sorry the paper is not completely smooth there's texture to it there's valleys and and hills and my tip caught one of those hills but i will just work it in like i did it on purpose so lisa says that um She's been watching it with the Altima, and she's been looking to buy the Altima. Yeah. Well, if you're going to replace them. they seem to be more comfortable and yes. uh, with less heat. And the, all the tips are a fixed tip, and so the heat is more stable. Yeah. There's less, less shifting. I mean, the pen does cool off, but there's also a very quick reheat. Kathy says, don't freak out. <laughs> I'm trying to be good. Yeah, on the box says, looks fine, get over it. Uh, I moved on. And Melissa says, the eye is amazing. Yeah. Let's see here. So, I got some of those lines in. I can erase them. I was actually going to do... Um, I pulled some photos to do uh, another burning on canvas. I 
decided that was really cool and I want to look into it more. I want to try it a bit more. So I might do that for next week. Okay. The way I cut the canvas, because it's, you know, scraps from when you made your can your stretch canvases. Mm -hmm. I kind of got a uh, Japanese oriental feel. Oh, okay. And so that's what I'm kind of going for. I figured with burning and cutting it and a more, uh, what do they call them? scroll type, like the scrolls hanging down that people have on their walls type thing. Mm -hmm. I didn't like use any words correctly there, did I? <laughs> I know, None I of my words worked. Somehow I understood you. Yeah. Um, all right. Words stopped working. So all I'm trying to do is just lightly have the tip completely flat and just shading. But I'm not worried as much about any skipping. I'm not trying to go for a gradient shade. Okay. Because this is giving more texture. Ah. And makes it feel more feather-like. Kathy Whitney has got to go, but she'll Bye, watch Kathy. the rest of later. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you for stopping by. Let's see here. This curves around a little bit. It goes in this direction, but when I burned it, I couldn't fully see the... The lines as well because I had it on the TV. That's why I decided to switch over. And now I'm kind of fixing some things. Mm -hmm. Your brother hasn't said much, has he? Uh, Josh is watching. Oh. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Josh is learning. Hopefully. Hopefully I'm answering his questions. That's so awesome that he got a camera. Now he can take the reference photos that he really wants mm. and I think that's another thing I know a lot of people jump into commissions really quickly that's what I've been seeing but then you're burning somebody else's idea and stressing out over it and whatnot I really think people should spend more time doing their own art before they do somebody else's art And in doing that, you'll spend, you'll be happier. Because you're working on something you want to work on that has no strings attached. You're not trying to beat a clock or anything like that. And it's always hard having a learning experience when you're trying to do a commission. It's, it's, you know, you're yeah. Either, it's either a frustration or a stress. Um, you know, I, and I think, too, like, Especially if you've just started a particular medium and people may want commissions, but you may not have like gotten to the rhythm yet with what you do. And then it kind of equates to getting into your style of work, you know, whatever that turns out to be. So I don't even know what my style is. <laughs> you have a style. It's recognizable. But I but what I'm saying is I don't know what it is. Yeah. It's like a photo. That's what the style is. No, it's not. Yeah, you do have a style though. It's like, well, but the thing with styles is, is that people want you know to have like a particular style. But what happens is you end up doing art a certain way, and even as you improve, you still end up doing that art a certain way, and people will be able to recognize your work because of how you treat the brush strokes or the burning, you know, the you know how you how you use the pen and the on the surface and they'll be able to see them it's like oh well that's that's so and so that did that and then i recognize what it is you know that makes it that person and then sometimes it's hard to say what that style is but mm -hmm. but it's just that that's the way that you do it and that's that's what your style is you know that's your visual signature that makes your work unique but i think that's the last thing to worry about well it is and people obsess about that. They do. But the fact of it is, is that whether you want to or not, like you can't force yourself to have a certain style. Your style is going to come out eventually. Like you can try and be like somebody else, and you may end up being like somebody else for a while. But if you just 
doing art, whatever it is that becomes a whatever features become commonalities in your work become your style and you, you don't have any choice over that it's just something that comes out of the art that you do so all right let me get you back up with chat <laughs> uh, i'm trying to i'm just doing squiggles because honestly the 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 feathers along the side of the head, that's all we're seeing, really, are squiggles. Yeah. Jim Scales. Hi, Jim. Says, hey, Valerie, how do you like the Optima? I just ordered mine. Oh, did you? I love my Optima. In fact, I need to call Pat. I know that there's been quite a few people that have um, told me that they were getting an Optima, and I want to see how all that's going for everybody. Yeah. It's funny, like, how long ago did, did you learn about the Optima? I only found out about the Optima, as in paying attention, um, back in September. Yeah. Yep. I was trying to get my custom tip made through Colwood, and that wasn't coming out right. And Google finally decided to show me the... <laughs> The Optima, and I was looking through the website, and that's how I came across it. And I just ordered the um, Corsair tip, and because Pat calls everybody when he can um, to verify orders and to make sure you're not that you're buying what you want, and actually not buying stuff that you probably would have duplicates of or whatnot. We got to talking. And I did purchase my Optima. It was <clears throat> a loaner for a couple of months. And on December 1st, I purchased it. Yeah. So it's mine. All mine. Yeah, I think that's interesting too because like you know, up until that point, you know, the established brands were like Colwood and Burn Master and Razor Tip and Nibs Burner. You for know, me. For yeah. you. Yeah. You know, and to have, you know, Optima kind of come out of the blue and be so good, that's pretty amazing. I was open minded, um, but I didn't have any super high expectations. But I am glad I found it. And I do hope the people that are buying it are happy with it as well. I love his tips, though. All of them are polished. The pins are comfortable. It's just... It feels like a higher quality product. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It's nice and clean. And... It's actually, it takes up less room, too, than some of the other burners. Yeah. We still need to make me a cart. Yep. Um, Mariah Kane says, I've been meaning to mention to you that that uh, she watched a lot of video uh, wood burning artists, but she really appreciates with you is how you tell us what you're doing and why. So thanks for that. Thank you. Sometimes I don't feel like I'm clear to you guys, and I get a little, I get a little frazzled with that. Um, but I very much appreciate the feedback. Well, that, that's why I'm here. <laughs> to frazzle me? Yes. <laughs> um, Jim Scales has got to go. He's got to Bye, he Jim. watch the whole video later, and he says thank you for all you do. Great looking out. Thank you. Grandpa Pod says, can the Colwood use the Optima pins and tips? Yes. Though, if you're using the Colwood base with the Optima pin, you'll find that you have to bump it down. So, if, you're, if you've set it on three and you expect a certain burning at three with your Colwood, when you plug in the Optima pin, you're going to have to bump it down to right around two. It will burn darker. It's just a matter of playing with it, but yes, they do work together. I've tested that out myself. And I need to get my other comparison video done. Yeah. 
trying to figure out. I think I'm just going to stay in this area and kind of do my squiggles. Some are going to be darker, some are going to be lighter. But looking at the reference photo, I am going to have to go, ah, go back and do some shaping. Not of the squiggles. I don't know what else to call. <laughs> Not of the squiggles, but of, if you look, there's also different shading just in general on the feathers because some of them go in further and some of them are closer to the light and this is what's going to give the owl more shape more of a realistic 3d feel because it's not going to be all flat and that's where the I think the black and white help, photo helps the most, though you guys can't really see it. Let me angle it. There we go. Some of it is more shade than the other, and that's not the, necessarily the color of the feather. Oh, there we go. The feathers, but how they lay on the owl himself. So. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pop this photo off. Marie Monopoly says she could watch you all day. Double, double smiley face. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, and Josh uh, says he will either have a chicken coop background or a background that's a forest. He's not sure. Hmm. And Grace suggested maybe take pictures of both and then decide. Yeah. That would be good. And Ralph Podge says, thanks Val. The Optima tips look better than my Coldwood tips. Yes. Um, I have to say from a, <laughs> from a person who is not a wood burning expert that just visually the Optima tips and the whole pen looks better it's it, it looks more finished yes me. it looks less um, clunky um some of the other burners, they tend to have kind of a, a plasticky look. They look like, um, they almost look like a power tool or, or like, a, I don't know. Mm, I can. But the Optimas, they, they, they just look better, mm. I think. That's just my opinion. And I don't have any idea about how they perform. I mean, I do, but not from using them. So. <laughs> just from what I've said. Yeah. Just from watching you. But yeah, they just, I don't know, they look better. And I think part of that is the polished tips. Well, they're also easier to, to, to keep clean. If you notice, because I had <clears throat> burned on the canvas, I had some um, residue from the, on my tips. And it was just a matter of wiping them off on the watercolor paper. And they were clean. Because yeah, some other burner companies and I'm, I'm not going to mention names <laughs> will charge you to get yeah. polished tips yep. and all of Pat's tips I believe they come polished right yes yeah so all fixed tip nice, or polished nice to have and you like, don't even me, that should even be that should be standard yeah you know? it's like it's like getting a brush like a paint brush and then it's like well you have to condition your own brush it's like no that should come that way yeah you know do not use sandpaper on your tips, on your Optima tips. You'll scratch them up. You'll scratch them up, you'll lose your polishing. Marie Monopoly wants to know what's best to use under the paper when you're burning. I have... Is this chipboard? It looks like chipboard. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's basically the same kind of board that when you buy, like, put together furniture from, you know... Well, this is from a picture frame. Oh, is that? Yeah, this board... I found it in my closet. It's from um, it had paint on it. Not wood, not paper. Somewhere in between. Yeah. This, um, in fact, it still has. I'm gonna flip it. Eh. It still has the hooks on them. <laughs> right. Normally, I would not burn on this, but because. I've got this piece of paper, which is 140 pounds, 
And then I also have my pattern behind it in case I needed to pop it off and put it on the light pad. So there's a piece of printer paper behind it and then I've got the board. And that's just to keep the paper um, stretched so it doesn't warp as bad. Right. And I am finding that this, uh, that the cold press paper warps less than the hot press. But for f some pieces, I want to use hot press. So I'll have to deal with that. We have about eight minutes until 1230. Okay. Yeah, my voice is getting tired. Don't want to get sick. You do a shot, I'll do a shot. I already did a shot. I'll do a shot. <laughs> I already did a shot. I'm just trying to darken part of the pupil. There we go. Alright. I think I'm going to leave it for now. From what I can see of it, I mean, you've already captured his expression. Like, I've seen this all. Because I was there when you took the pictures, of course. <laughs> and he has that, that very intense expression. Yeah, that he does. Yeah, we had a meet and greet with him. And so we could get really close to him and take pictures. And That's where this one came from. And so it was just a really good opportunity. So if you do... Do get a chance to go to like Arizona or some place where they have like birds of prey that you can meet up close. That's a great opportunity to get photos. That it is. Let's see here. So this is where I've been thrown off. And I'm just using the edge of the tip. Kind of darken that a little bit. And separate the two. This feels a little bit better. Yeah. And again, I'm just, I'm just kind of squiggling the pen around. It's the heat is doing all the work. What do you mean by that? I'm not having to press hard. All I'm having to do is control my speed. Oh. Um, so you're you're kind of just letting it rest on the paper. It's just, oops. It's just gliding. Yep, it's just gliding. And see, if your tips aren't polished, you might feel drag. And it won't be as smooth yeah. as you burn. And that makes a difference too. How much drag there is on. I don't like this. I just make it go away. Then it doesn't feel as bad. Okay, so he's got hair that goes this way on the beak. And I feel a little off. This line comes down more like this. And remember with watercolor paper, I'm not going to have the same opportunity to fix a burn. Mm, why? Because it's watercolor paper. Yeah, but what does that mean? Um, well, I did want to check because I haven't done it. I mean, obviously you can't raise. You're saying you can't sand? No, not really. What about scraping it? That's what I'm going to test that on. This is two different types of paper, but I'm curious to see. This is the mono sanded eraser for ink. Let's see. Yeah, it's not. I was hoping it would pull it, but it didn't. So that's good to know. So if you are working on water, watercolor, watercolor paper, yeah. you have to be especially careful. Yeah. Because you may only have one shot. Which is why I say to to start off light. Yeah, that's not coming off, is it? Well, this damage is the paper. Ah. Um, let me see here. Maybe this. You guys can see I can zoom in on that. You don't have as much leeway on fixing when you use watercolor paper. Let's see here. Grandpa Podge wants to know what tip you're using right now. This is the medium 18M spear shader. 
Yeah, it's not. Oh, I did get a new product. I you saw. Know. Yes, I did. What'd you get? I got. Let me. I know it's not going to work on here, but I'm going to put some dark down anyway. It is called a sanding stick. I could have used this. They're just remnants. Oh, I know this. Yeah. It's used in uh, automotive work. Mm-hmm. Well, they're Sand also... in places that are hard to get into. Yeah. But remember when I was fighting with the still life? Yes. This would have been perfect. I, I went ahead and got the fine. Um, Yep. Mariah King has a question. Mm -hmm. The polish you've mentioned, I tried to find where I live here in PEI, Canada. Oh, Prince. Yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. any suggestions as to what other kind of polish one can use on their tips? <sighs> and Philip Ayakabaki has to mm -hmm. go. Bye, Philip. Gotta run, stay well. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, let's see here. Trying to think what you would have. So they don't have any kind of aluminum oxide in Canada. What about like Brasso? Would that work? Do Brasso yeah. will take it off? Oh. No. Okay, so don't do that. No, aluminum oxide is what I use to polish my tips. Um, and it doesn't take a whole lot. Any of your home improvement stores should have it. And I will look up on Amazon, and I, mean, I know there's stuff on Amazon too that maybe you can order. I know I don't have a I don't have it set up for the Canadian links, but I'll figure some out. Let's see here. So this area goes darker, but I'm not going to do it right now. And then. The pattern just, it's not, it's not a detailed pattern, so I can go in all kinds of different directions with it, and it still looks like the barbed pattern for him. Yeah. It always looks better on camera than it does <laughs> face to face to me. Alright. So yeah, always try to burn lighter. That way if you do mess up, hit the wrong place, it's then you can darken over it. Did you say it's all about patience and building value? Yes. Okay. That is the biggest thing about burning. Patience. Patience. This has been quite the teacher for me. And there's times that I still don't have patience. I want it to look a certain way, and it's not getting there. Hmm. You impatient? <laughs> I, I was so waiting for that. Have known that. I was so waiting for I that. I was not aware of that. That <laughs> is a revelation. I was so waiting for that. All right. I think I'm going to stop here. Let's vacuum out a little bit. So, hi, this is George. George, this is the Toasties. Mm, mm. <laughs> the Toasties. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got me. <laughs> I got you. Oh. I got you. <laughs> okay. I into that. <laughs> you oh, did. Smack right into your. Yeah. Nothing new. Nothing new. So, do we have any more questions? Yeah, Mariah, just look at one of your home improvement stores, and it's just aluminum oxide, and it'll be in the suction where, because all kinds of tools use it to polish saws and whatnot, so you should be able to find it. Hopefully everything's off. It smells, yes. Thank you, Grace. Let's see, I think, here we go. He He's not looking too bad. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Big surprise. 
Whatever, well, on camera, whatever. he looks better on camera. <laughs> he works it better on camera. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. It's looking good. Eve says it all looks really good. Murray Monopoly says came in awesome. What personality? Thank you. He he was quite the. So, do you guys want me to keep working on this guy next week, or do we want to move over to the canvas? Do you want to see more of the canvas burning? I'm actually. I vote more on the owl. That's my personality. more on the owl. Yeah. I want to see it because right now I, I just want to see more of them. Oh, my vote is more, is the canvas. So let's see what well, do the toasties want. It's up to the toasties. What do the toasties want? Because I'm just hubcap. <laughs> You're my bling. I'm Thank just you, Ian. Rolling around, along, sitting on the side of the tire. Let's see here if I can turn this light off so you can see it. Yeah. There we go. Hopefully that doesn't wash it out as much. Thank you, Pudge. Oh, okay, owl, so we got two for owl, three for owl. No canvas. Nobody wants to see canvas. Ah. I mean. Oh, don't oh, get all. Oh, <laughs> sorry. So we got four for owl. Right. One, two, three, four. Marie says either. Five. I'm gonna put Marie with me. <laughs> oh, okay. He said either, so. Oh, okay. What, what does Josh say? Well, we have to wait for the. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Mariah, let me see what I can find and leave me a comment after this vote, this video posts, and I will see what I can find for you. Beetle on, says, "Oh." Beetle says, all right, Pod fine, says, it's the owl. Are you, are you going to be in, in contact with Lisa? Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Lisa, Lisa, yes. Lisa, if you can, there's a link down in the description for the Facebook group. If you can, though I guess I could always do this. Why do I not think of that? I don't know. I just read the comments. I know. <laughs> And, and let Moon out. I know. So if you can uh, contact me through the Facebook group, I'll see what we can, you know, what works for you for your burner. I'm so sorry that somebody decided to be nasty and take it. Yeah. Josh said owl. All right, we'll do the owl. We will do the owl. Sure so Mariah, yeah, leave me a comment, Mara, and I'll see what I can do to help you find some of the the polishing mm -hmm. aluminum oxide. And Marie, I'm sure we'll do a canvas here in the future. Yes, the canvas is just linen raw canvas. Because Val really wants to. I do. But we're doing the owl. Uh, yes, I've already got that. Yes, I'll leave him alone, and we will do the owl. Okay. okay guys thank you so much for stopping by hopefully this video has helped you take one more step in your burning adventure if you're new here please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell we go live every wednesday at 11 a.m arizona time also please like up this video and leave a comment i appreciate you spending your time with me happy burning guys bye, bye.